Hi, welcome back to the Gap Search Channel. My name is Gabby, and today I'm going to talk about some very exciting subject, uh, hybrid capacitors. They are small, but they can hold a lot of charge. And uh, these are called also lithium ion capacitors. What are they and why are they so exciting? Uh, these are fairly new. They've been only around for a few months now and only recently that you can actually purchase some. So I got myself 10 of those. They come in a very unique package as you can see. And the reason is these come pre-charged and uh, they want to make sure that the two leads don't uh, short because they are pre-charged it's kind of like a battery and they could discharge a huge amount of power so for safety they have this special device to keep those capacitors uh, safe these are 220 farads 3.8 volt supply and the other thing is we're going to try to see how they compare to batteries and also how do they compare to ultra capacitors and why they could be the future to enhance electric vehicles battery. And if your application doesn't use a lot of energy, you can actually use them to power something like this DAC for a very long time. Or you could have some fun with it and use it to power like this Gapster dude here and uh, keep on lifting weight for quite some time. Batteries are great, they can hold a lot of storage, but they actually can degrade quickly and don't last very long, and they could be also a fire hazard. Ultra capacitors, on the other hand, they, hardly, they don't hold a lot of charge, but they can displace energy extremely fast. You know me, I like explaining things in a really simple language so everybody can understand what the heck these things are. Think about it as a capacitor and a battery at the same time. It's like half capacitor, half battery, all in one. These can last a lot longer than batteries because batteries can wear down. These have much lower risk of fires and explosions, but they're still have, they can pack still quite some power. So you still have to handle them carefully, but not as bad as batteries. And it's still a little bit less dangerous than ultra capacitors. So what is it for us and for the world? For the world, these can be used, for example, in conjunction with batteries to enhance the batteries, to give them that, uh, so that extra boost. So let's say you got an electric car, you add quite a few of those to the batteries, and when you accelerate, you're going to have that big, huge acceleration. So you can create supercars with these. And also, if you are regenerating when you step on the brakes, you want to be able to capture that energy very quickly. And sometimes batteries cannot absorb that energy so fast. And these could be the middle person that can handle that extra uh, burst of energy. They will store it and then slowly dissipate it to the batteries. So these could be the future of electric cars. And what does it help us for us audiophiles? Well, these, they are smaller and they can pack a little bit more energy than ultra capacitors, almost roughly twice as much. So instead of having to use one big chunk of an ultra capacitor, you could use a little, I would say about half of those. But there's another catch. These can be up to 3.8 volts where most where ultra capacitor can only go up to 2.7 or 3 volts means most applications you want to run 3.3 you can't so you end up using two of the ultra capacitor which drops their capacity in half and um, so you could say that you could actually use a quarter of the volume of these hybrid capacitors to replace ultra capacitors. And this is great. For example, in my D11 here, I used 10 huge ultra capacitors. I, trust me, I could use a little bit of space. This thing is crammed. So especially for certain things that don't require a lot of power. So when I use the DAC here, you can see that uh, on the, uh, on the uh, DAC itself and the OPA 861, I'm actually using those tiny little um, hybrid capacitors. 
and uh, for the Opa 861 it could run for a couple hours on those two little things but that thing hardly uses anything and uh, even on the DAC it basically ran for a good 20 minutes but that was I'm using only one and to power all three of them so you can basically put a few of those in parallel and you can run this thing for a good couple hours and use them just like ultra capacitors and then charge them intermittently while you're not listening or while the, uh, these uh, Ian has designed some really clever system that when you're actually uh, pausing between song or the other it'll actually charge the batteries even for that little couple seconds and then as soon as you play it'll go back to pure mode and and so these can be really good for that as well if you're trying to a reduce space or having a little bit more longevity also they're they can pack a quite a good uh, burst of power if might help sometimes the audio system. I'm not going to bore you with formulas and energies and all these things. I'm just going to give you some real practical life examples. And for that, I built the little Gapster robot here. And he's a good weightlifter. So he's got a very inefficient engine and lots of friction. Also, he's running an LED display and a light bulb. So he's very, very, he's consuming a lot of power. He's uh, roughly consuming about a half of an amp. And uh, let's see how long this guy can run. So here we hooked up the uh, Gapster uh, robot, my little uh, buddy here, and uh, we're going to power him with this tiny little capacitor, uh, the hybrid capacitor we're talking about. And uh, we've got here a timer, and this is going to display the voltage as well as things go along, because the voltage will drop over time, just like uh, all the ultra capacitors and also batteries. And so we're going to power this guy here. There you go. So as you can see, we are using a little bit over of a half an amp here. And we are here running about 3.5 volts. And, uh, oh, we forgot to press this guy. We'll uh, give it a little extra time when, it's, uh, when we turn it off. And we're going to see how long this guy keeps running. And uh, it's more like the... Uh, Gapster Energizer guy. There we are, it keeps on going, so it's been about a minute here. Now we're just gonna keep uh, letting it run. We'll check back when the battery gets. We need to basically stop this guy when the battery reaches around probably 2.8. It's probably the safe around. You can run it as low as 2.2, but that's like the extreme maximum. And also after that, it's not really that useful. There we are at uh, the halfway point here, and uh, he's still uh, going strong. He's running around uh, 3.2 volts here, and uh, still using half an amp on the uh, on the bottom there. So yeah, we'll see how long. We are at the uh, five uh, minute mark here and he's still uh, doing well. And uh, I'm just uh, remember, this is just one capacitor, one hybrid capacitor. Uh, if you want to use them for something useful, I would probably put them in parallel, maybe five of them. Here we are at the uh, seven minute mark and he's about three volts right now. Here we are at the nine minute mark. And uh, still uh, lifting weights. Go Gapster, go. And he's slowing down a little bit, but he's still going. And he's about 2.7 uh, volts here. You can see the voltage. Hopefully you can see that. And we're going to shut him down. He's about 10 minutes, so that's good. He made it to the 10 minute mark. And, and that's pretty remarkable for this little fellow. And you could see that it's just that little, just that little tiny capacitor here. That's all that this thing is running from. We're just going to unplug it. There you go. And uh, so this guy is running the motor, running the LCD, the 
the view meter and the light, but mostly it's a motor and all these friction that takes a lot of power and juice. So we're going to stop this guy. So we could safely say that he ran for a good 10 minutes. Uh, and then you can do basically the math on how much storage you can get out of this guy. And just remember that you can actually put a few of those together and make a bigger capacitor. I'm going to put in this little corner a little speaker where you can click on it and subscribe and help my channel help me keep making videos like this and some other ones. I'm also going to put in the other corner uh, how to build those big giant ultra capacitors and uh, make something for your audio device. Take care and I hope to see you again.